Hi, welcome to Cornerstone's brand new build. This one is extra special. We have 28 feet here. We've got a bump out on both the back end and the front end. So really we're adding a lot more square footage, a lot more value. So please step inside. This couple, they actually work from home. So they needed a dedicated office space. As you can see, this is huge in here. They have the whole alcove here underneath the stair platform above. We'll see in just a minute what's on the other side of this. You could do a chest of drawers in here. You could do filing cabinets. And that front space that we talked about, this bump out on the front, they, can, they have all of this for storage as well. These particular lights are not our usual lights. The temperature of the color is controlled through a smart app on their phone. So they wanted these particular lights. So they'll be filming inside of their office. This alcove here is created by the front. So they're gonna have two desks that sit in here, or they may just build a table. They hadn't decided. So they still have really good lighting that comes in here during the daytime. This horizontal roller window gives them full access to the outside. It will have a screen installed whenever uh, they are at their location. You never want to travel with the screen in because then you're, you're likely going to lose your screens down the, down the road. So come on upstairs. They're using our new loft design. We have a platform here. Allows you to be able to stand up. You can change your clothes. You can access things. And then to get into the loft, you're just simply going to sit on it and put your legs in. So this area fits a queen bed nicely. Again, we have our beautiful wood pine tongue and groove ceilings. So for this uh, room here, this actually fits a queen size bed nicely. It would go basically wall to wall. Um, they wanted a storage headboard, so we did this little pop-up here. There's an outlet in here as well. So then they can charge their phone, put a lamp up here, whatever they might need. This particular house has a beautiful bathroom. We're going to start here. The entryway to the bathroom, we have a barn door. This is on stainless steel uh, barn door hardware. Matches their appliances here. Coming into the bathroom here, it's a beautiful bevel subway tile on the walls and then the shower floor is a non-slip mosaic tile. They have just a typical brushed nickel Moen shower set. For their bathroom sink we have a square vessel ceramic sink mounted on top of the countertop with a tall uh, vessel faucet style sink. We always like to have a window in the bathroom. I think it's important for natural lighting. Uh, this one is an obscure glass, so it is still private, but it does allow the light to come in. On to our gourmet kitchen. A lot of attention and detail went into the design of this kitchen. Um, starting off with a Splendide washer-dryer combo. This particular model is vented to the outside, so that means that you're going to have a heated drying option. So since we don't have a loft in this kitchen, we did 42 inch high cabinets. Now everybody knows unless you're about eight feet tall, you probably can't reach that top shelf, but this is a great place to store those extra things that every home needs. Something that you typically buy in bulk, but um, normally in tiny homes, we're not able to really do that. But I think with this kitchen set up the way it is that we could. They opted for a true induction cooktop. This is a three burner. It's designed to go into RVs. A lot of four burner induction cooktops would require too much electricity. You'd have too much of a draw. Whereas this one, it does allow you to have three burners. Above here is a 24 inch microwave. It's over the range, it has the exhaust fan. And don't forget, you do need to vent all of your exhaust to the outside in a tiny home. It's very important. This is a really high-end Verona oven. It's a 24-inch wide oven. It's all digital on the operations. We have an 18-inch dishwasher. This one is GE. It's a GE profile. Um, 
You probably all know that an 18 inch dishwasher costs more than a 24 inch one like you probably have in your house, but um, it was really important to them. And then they have a chef sink here. It's really deep. You can fit a wash basin inside of here easily. You have room to rinse your dishes. You could do either prep space or dish, uh, dish drainer space up here. And then this is probably my favorite appliance in this house. This is their refrigerator. You can see it's really tall. So it has a refrigerator on top and then freezer below. All of the bins in there as well, keeps your food all organized. So glad that you could join us today for our 28 foot Fontana model. Please stay tuned, we will be showing more soon. Visit some of our other models at cornerstonetinyhomes.com. Thank you.